So recently the classic first person shooter Quake has been updated to celebrate its anniversary and this is a major update. It adds improved graphics, expansion packs, lots of expansion packs for that matter, online multiplayer and this online multiplayer actually supports crossplay and loads of other stuff. So I want to know, does this work on Linux? Well in today's video that's what we're going to be trying out right now on the Linux Lounge. So indeed, as I said during the opening, today we're testing out Quake on Linux. Now this is of course running through Proton, as there is no native Linux port just yet, and I'm not sure that there ever will be, but I can stay hopeful. Now, I don't know if you'll have different results from me if your setup differs, but I'm running Manjaro Linux with an NVIDIA graphics card using the proprietary drivers, and I'm using version 6.10 of the glorious egg roll fork of Proton. Generally speaking, I find that I have better results with a glorious egg roll version of Proton but maybe you don't need it. So with that said we're going to go ahead and launch this game and see if it works. Now the first thing that you'll see when you launch this game is options to play the new Quake, the original version and the two original versions of the expansion packs that come with this updated Quake. For the purposes of this video we're just going to be trying out the updated Quake. I have actually tried this and I know that it works. In fact it seems that even the online multiplayer works so that's quite impressive. So so as you can see it's just gone ahead and launched and we get a Bethesda splash screen and as you can see here we are in game so let's just go ahead and hop over to the main menu and you can see we've got the single player multiplayer add-ons all that sort of stuff so first let's go ahead and try out the single player so we'll go ahead and select new game and in theory the game should load and as you can see we've got all the expansion packs here but for now we're just going to be trying out standard quake and there you go that is quake the new updated version running under Linux on Proton. So if we go into the options menu real quick you should just be able to see that I have in fact gone and maxed out all the settings. Everything seems to work absolutely fine as it should. So let's just go ahead and quickly play the first level just so you can see that everything is working. Now I'm actually not very experienced with Quake and I have barely played it so you will have to excuse that I probably won't know where I'm going but I do know that there's a little mystery up there. So as you can see everything is working absolutely fine. The game looks great. I will say that the new lighting effects look pretty good and these games really have aged surprisingly well if you run them at a higher resolution. That might just be me and some sort of strange nostalgia type thing talking but like I say these games do look great and this remastered well, I'm not sure if it's fair to call it remastered, but this version of Quake definitely does look absolutely amazing. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine on Linux. Now, I did get some complaints in the last video that the screen recording didn't look great, but trust me, to my eyes, this looks absolutely perfect. And as you can see, all the lighting stuff looks really great. You can really see that in this particular room here. So I've got to say, if you've not played Quake before, this might be a good way to do it, that's for sure. And if you already own Quake through Steam, I believe you actually get this for free which I've got to say good on Bethesda and its software for doing that. A lot of companies would have tried to sell this separately and as you can see we've got an achievement. For some reason it always amazes me that achievements work through Proton. I have no idea why because it just kind of seems like a given that they would but there you go that's the first level of Quake played in Proton. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here and then show you a bit of the multiplayer because yes it does work. And here we are in the multiplayer menu of Quake. Now I do know that this is going to work but I will go ahead and show you anyway. Now for some bizarre reason some matches will actually fail to join. I don't know if that's a Linux issue or not but as you can see this one that we've tried here works absolutely fine the first time round. Now it doesn't seem like there's any weird anti-cheat or anything which is stopping the game from working on Proton so I've got to say huge thumbs up to the guys at id Software and Bethesda because this really is amazing and there's nothing here that would make it not work on Proton. As you can probably tell I'm not able at all to give commentary while playing this game but I assure you playing Quake multiplayer is absolutely fantastic fun and it's absolutely as fun as it ever was and as you can see here it's working completely 
completely fine under Proton on Linux, so that is absolutely fantastic. Now, before I stop today's video, there is just one more thing that I do need to show you. Unfortunately, the original version of Quake, which does come bundled with this, actually seems not to work under Proton for some reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and quit this match and then demonstrate that to you. So as I said, before I finish today's video, I do just want to quickly show you that the original version of Quake here seems not to work. Now, presumably there is some way to get it to work, but out of the box with Proton Glorious Egg Roll Edition, it seems not to work. So I've gone ahead and launched it. And what will happen is a window will quickly flash onto the screen, but the game will just close. And as you can see, a window slashed on screen and it still says that the game is running but any minute now there you go you can see that it just doesn't work why that is i don't know presumably there is a way to get it to work but like i say just be aware that out of the box you're not going to be able to play the original quake in proton just the updated version so with that said that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed taking a look at the new and updated quake i thank you for watching today's video and i will see you in the next one